This may be the first time ever hacks are already being sold for a AAA game before it's even released. What the f What's shaking everyone? My name's Geeksay and today we need to talk about hacks and hacks for Battlefield 2042. The game isn't even out yet. We have about 50 days before the release, yet hacks are already getting sold for it. So how did we get here? What's the state of hacks? We're just going to jump right into it today. To understand how this all happened, we have to actually go back to the start of June when EA actually got hacked. The hackers were able to get away with 780 gigs worth of info. And just to kind of put that in perspective, everyone complains about installing just Warzone. Everyone's like, oh, Warzone, it's such a big game. I don't know, like make it smaller. It's so big. Warzone on its own is 98 gigs. They stole 780 gigs worth of EA code. Just think about that for a minute. Jesus, that is so much info. The biggest thing they were able to steal was definitely the source code and tools for EA's proprietary engine, Frostbite. And as you know, if you have the source code and the tools, well, any game that uses this engine, you can pretty much hack pretty easily because you know everything about it and well that's a lot of games so if you want to see what games are on the frostbite engine let's just take a look at a few And of course, the game we're most excited for, Battlefield 2042. So because of this, Tom Henderson reached out. He tweeted about this and he talked to a cheat developer and they told him they are up 400% in website traffic and signups in August over July. And a majority of this is coming from Battlefield 2042 cheats. A game that isn't even out yet, but people are still signing up just to be the first ones to cheat. So pathetic, but it's the truth. Now, Battlefield 2042 is supposed to be on an updated Frostbite engine, and no word yet if this leak will even affect the new Frostbite code, but we can all agree on something. When it comes down to cheating, it's not if they'll crack the code and get cheats in the game, it just comes down to when they do it. If people are willing to sign up even before the game is even released, there's money in it. People want this. For some reason, people love this shit. People love cheating. And I don't get it, but hey, I, I, I can't, you know, I can't get into the brain of a loser. So let's not talk about that. So now Battlefield 2042 is going to be having an anti-cheat. This is, this is definitely a for sure. Like, let's not pretend like they're not. And word on the street actually is they're going to be using easy anti-cheat. They used to use Punk Buster and then they used something called Fair Fight before too. But apparently they're going to be moving to easy anti-cheat, which Apex Legends is on, uh, Fortnite's on, Gears 5, a couple of other big names. But it's, it is it is definitely a reputable and big name anti-cheat software, which is a great thing. Lately, I don't know what it is, but I just feel like hackers are more prominent now than ever before. I'm in my mid-30s. I've been playing games forever, and I've been playing multiplayer games forever, and I just... It, it's never felt like there's hackers everywhere at every game like there is right now. You know what? I, quick, quick tangent. Okay, I'm going off script. This isn't written out. I'm just, I'm just kind of talking about this because we're talking about it. But honestly, I do believe some motivation of people that use hacks are people that are down, don't feel good about themselves. And they know when they're hacking, they're making other people feel the same way because they're getting them frustrated and angry. I, I don't know. I don't I like I can't justify a reason why anyone would use cheats in a multiplayer game to ruin the game for hundreds of people. Like Warzone has over a hundred people in a match. You're ruining the match for over a hundred people. Why do you want to do that? Anyways, let's get let's get back on track. Yeah, let's get back on track here. It's not like these cheat developers are doing it for free either. They're making 
crazy money. At the end of March, actually, there was a really big hacker ring that was taken back down by the Chinese police. And actually, it was associated with the big tech company Tencent. So this one ring, this one ring made roughly $76 million. And police seized roughly 46 million worth of assets, including several fancy cars. They use the word luxury, but I like the word fancy. Uh, they made cheats for popular games like COD Mobile and Overwatch. Wait, does that say Overwatch, isn't it? Okay, okay, yeah, popular game like Overwatch. Sure, guys, yep, mm-hmm. Now, I know what a lot of you guys are saying. Well, geeks, I play on PlayStation, I play on Xbox, where it's super hard to get cheats onto these systems. And I agree with you. It's very, very difficult to get wall hacks or auto-aim onto these systems so what you're going to do is you're just going to turn off crossplay and you're going to be safe right you're actually wrong there's this new thing now called cronus zen it's been around for actually quite a while but now it just got risen in popularity because people are figuring out ways to do i would say like no recoil at all if, if you look at this website okay like let's take a look at this website it's insane so they already sold out of the batches that are coming out in September, which is about 6,000, 7,000 units. They're already sold out of the ones that are supposed to come in October. And they're already sold out, or actually they're not sold out. They're close to being sold out of the ones that are due in November. This isn't even a super cheap item. It's $100 for this thing. So it's quite expensive, actually. Now, what this was for and a lot of people used it for was if you had a PlayStation, you can hook up an Xbox controller and play with an Xbox controller on a PlayStation. Or if you wanted to use a mouse and keyboard, you could do that. But let's be honest, maybe 10% of the people ordering this now are using it for that reason. 90% of people are using it for, for this reason. Look at this video. Let's just watch this video together. So in this TikTok, the guy's showing off that he has a Zen. He's using the Amax in the game. And as you can see, the Amax recoil is ridiculous. It's just crazy. So now he's going to go to his Zen. He's going to pick the Amax. And, and let's just see what it's like now. Let's just see what you know, it's probably close to it, right? Like close to that craziness. No, it's it's not even close. Look at like that is disgusting. And the worst part of I think about this whole thing is I watch these types of videos and I keep seeing comments about people justifying that this is not cheating. This is cheating, guys. Yes, it's not, you know, uh, wall hacks. It's not auto aim, but this is cheating. If you really want to have a good laugh or you want to just like go really deep into a comment section of people really trying to justify their reasoning just find a TikTok about this product and just scroll it's crazy some of the delusional ideas on why people use it and they think it's fair it, it, woo, it boggles my mind but here's the thing okay for like to to wrap this whole thing up there's two things i want you to know about one, I'm super, super friggin' excited for Battlefield 2042. I don't care if there's already cheats for it. I'm gonna have a great time. I'm still gonna smile through if I get cheated on because I'm just excited for a new game to come out that's hopefully gonna be just like a breath of fresh air. And two, cheating's gonna happen in every game. It's inevitable, guys. It's always gonna be a cat and mouse game. I talk about this all the time. It's going to be a cat and mouse game. As long as people are willing to spend money to get these cheats, people are going to find out ways on how other people can cheat and sell it to them. It's just the way it goes. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know I got onto a little bit of a rant there and I got off topic here and there, but you know, thank you so much. You, you made it through the whole video. That's crazy. Thank you. If you want, you can really help this video out by giving it a thumbs up subscribing to the channel it's free for you guys but it does mean the world to me and maybe put in your two cents on on what you think about cheating like what you think the reasoning is why you think it's such a issue right now because i, I i'd be really interested in th in hearing other people's opinion on why you think people are cheating also remember i do stream five days a week on twitch.tv 
all the streams are without cheats can you believe it they are so thank you so much and until next time i'll talk to everyone later